Recently, the Northampton School Committee proposed a policy in which hate speech at all district schools would be banned. The policy was in response to a white student union that appeared on Facebook promoting racist ideologies and graphics. After initial debates of the proposed policy changes, the American Civil Liberties Union reached out to the committee and recommended that they rewrite the policy in order to withstand legal challenge. As the school committee further debates the policy, we spoke to members of our local community to discuss the potential ban on hate speech and what it would mean for Northampton schools and people of protected status. Honestly, I can't imagine how this policy would move forward at all in its present state. Uh, I wouldn't be a school committee member if I didn't believe in the transformative power of education. We do already have policies in place to protect students from bullying, harassment, and discrimination. What I think would be most effective in eradicating hate speech in the Northampton Public Schools is a sustained and multi-pronged initiative that includes anti-racist curriculum, professional development, and training for staff, students, administration, and community members, and the enforcement of the new code of conduct. I do think that the administration handled the incident with the um, Confederate flag being used as a Zoom background at the middle school appropriately. Um, as far as whether this is an improvement on that, if the intention of the policy was actually to expand upon the, um, the policy that we had enacted uh, banning the Confederate flag to include other symbols of hate and to um, move uh, to essentially include other protections that beyond uh, what was already included in our policies on bullying, harassment, and discrimination to also include uh, stereotyping, uh, bias, and microaggressions. The Massachusetts Constitution provides even broader protection of free speech than the First Amendment, um, and the ACLU has indicated the many ways in which this policy fails to maintain those protections. Um, I think that this policy as written does in fact have the potential to infringe upon those rights. I think theoretically, broadly speaking, at its core, this is a really, really good policy. A policy that should have been implemented in our district a long time ago. Um, that being said, I do agree the policy is a little too broad for where we are in our district at this moment. I don't think that we have enough support for teachers in our district. I think for a policy like this to be implemented um, in the way that we all want it to be, um, I think teachers need to get a lot more support than they have previously gotten inside of our district. I think for a policy like this to be implemented, uh, we need to have a robust uh, restorative justice plan within our district. Um, I think that a restorative justice plan, I think restorative justice practices um, are really crucial to be uh, to preventing hate speech within our community and also for addressing it as it comes up on a case-by-case -case basis. As has played out in the United States for the past few centuries, the issue of free speech is both complex and controversial. The conversation will be continued at the next school committee meeting on September 23rd at 6.45 p.m. Thanks for watching.